ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನೋರಂಚ ಇವ ನೋರುತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನ ಮಧುಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುಥ ಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುನಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಯಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷು ಭೀಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಶಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂವಿಹಿತ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
kalo karmo gunadhino deho ayam pancha bhautika kalo karmo gunadhino deho ayam pancha bhautika kathang kalo karmo gunadhino deho ayam pancha bhautika kathang anangstu sarpa gustu sarpa gustu jaya aparaha kathang anangstu gopayet sarpo grasto jaya aparaha kal karma gunadhino deho ayam pancha bhautika katham annansu gopaya sarpa grasto jaya aparaha gauri goshti pati sri sila bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshami thakur prabha paramahansa jagadguru told at any situation at any condition we will have to do hari bhajan at any situation you will have to continue your hari bhajan you cannot stop your hari bhajan maybe most of the people they are less interested to accept this kind of absolute truth but still you can go on continuing your hari katha hari kirtan it is a it should be life and soul of our life at any condition we should not leave hari bhajan maybe very dangerous situation very big problems there but any situation we should continue our hari bhajan we should not stop our hari bhajan because the meaning of life is to do hari bhajan without hari bhajan we have no no meaning the shloka i started with this from bhagavatam seventh canto kal karmo gunadhin kal karmo gunadhin no deho ayam panch bhautika we are under the control of kal kal you know kal mahakal your karma is responsible for this kind of life and under the control of three modes of nature so kal karmo gunadhino we know that kal karmo jeev ishwar maya these five things eternally present jeeva eternally present karma anadi bahirmukh anadi anadi kal kal ishwar maya all eternally present this kind of big jugglery this magic going on nobody can realize that's why in bhagavatam it is written kalo karma guna adhin deho ayam panch bhautika katham anyangst gopayet sarpagrast jaya aparah kal karma guna adhin this body if you claim your body it is wrong if it is your body then why you have no controlling over your body if you say it is your body it is my body okay your body but then why you have no controlling over your body why in the morning time you are feeling this kind of health condition evening time noon time changing so you can claim that it is my body but actually your body is not under your control your mind is also not under you nothing under your control we are under the control of mahakal going to take away all our fraction of second from our life just yesterday i was speaking hari katha today coming my days are running like wind so mahakal going to take away all time from your life day by day we are approaching day by day we are approaching towards death but we cannot realize day by day we are approaching towards death but we cannot realize days are coming when we will have to leave our body like wind going on all time we have no controlling over time 
we have no controlling over the three modes of nature, nothing we have. And also, I am driven by my previous activities, karma fall. Anadi karma falle, pari bhavar navajale, pari tari bare na dekhi upaye. Kirtan Bhakti Mitra writing. Anadi karma falle, pari bhavar navajale, tari bare na dekhi upaye. How to cross? No calculation. No, we cannot uh, understand how to. Everybody th can think. I am protecting him. Husband thinking. Husband going to think. I am giving protection to wife. Wife going to think. I am giving protection to husband. Child, father thinking. I am giving protection to children. Uh, who is going to give protection to whom? Who knows? No surety. Who is going to give protection to whom? That is the main question, no? But everybody thinks, I am protector. I am the owner, I am protector, I am giving protection. But nobody can give protection to whom? All controlled by Maya. I practically I have seen in temple, night time, 10 o'clock, suddenly I find one snack going to catch one frog. One frog is there, snack, catch the frog, but the, but the frog is quite big, so cannot swallow, it's catching. I am going just near to the snack. Everybody is shouting, don't go there! What they can do? Now, in the mouth, there is one frog, so anyway he cannot cut me, so I am watching very closely, what is the condition? I am watching the painful condition of the frog. Direct realization I have seen. How the frog fearing, I said, now going to die. Who is going to die? Frog fearing so much cannot come out, just like stone becomes stone out of fear. And the snack anyway not going to live, as it catch. This is the condition in the sloka. Kala karma guna dhino deho ayam pancha bhautikaha. This sloka going through. All creature, all human being, all creature, this snack of kal, kal you know, kal is one kind of snack, going to catch you in mouth. Just can swallow. Just you will have to wait for some time. This Mahakal can be compared with one snack, big snack. Going to swallow, my life is half gone, half mana over half, gone. Now waiting, when the Kal can swallow me. This is the condition. Everybody think I can give protection to him, everybody think I am the controller. There is a reason for why, why they cannot get realization power. Realization? I can give one example from Srimad Bhagavatam. I can give one example from Srimad Bhagavatam. You know, Naraji Maharaj, Naraji Maharaj when in his, uh, this Naraji Maharaj, I am speaking about Shadhan Siddha Narad, when he was a small boy, he is speaking he is speaking all about a direct relation in front of Vyasadeva. He is speaking, I was a small boy from a very poor family. I never saw my father. I never saw my father. Mother was there anyway. Mother taking care of me. I am the only son. Very poor. Mother is very poor. Mother going to different house and cleaning utensil, or washing clothes, they gave me some money. And this way, mother somehow, uh, she want to protect me. We are leading life in the village. Somehow, she is going to morning time, four o'clock, going to uh, any, uh, in a brown, uh, somebody's house to clean clothes and these, then come back, arrange some chapati, roti, this, this way I am leading. And by chance, there was a group of sadhu. There was a nice group of sadhu 
they come here suddenly by the arrangement of Bhagavan. And by that time, it was, uh, I mean, Kartik Bharata approaching. Uh, no, Kartik Bharata, Chatur Mahasabha, Chatur Mahasabha approaching. So they took decision to stay in that place because Chatur Mahasabha is very, there is all around hilly place and pure water available, fruit sanctuary, flowers are also. They are very nice decorated place. That, so they took decision, well, we can stay here. We can stay here for four months. They all took decision. They are staying. They are doing kirtan, harikatha, very nice. They are going to get some wheat and rice, everything somehow. And they are going to cook and offer to Bhagavan. This way they are leading their life. And Naraji Maharaj, he was very much impressed to see all those Rishi, I mean those sadhus. That small boy, he is feeling, he is feeling attraction for those sadhus. So naturally, one small boy feeling at going to their what they are doing, what they are doing, what they are singing. He is sitting. Maybe don't understand very small boy, but going to see what they are doing, what they are doing, uh, watching. He is feeling very nice because they are doing kirtan very nice. So the boy was very impressed. So he wanted to stay with those sadhus all the time, almost all the time. So this way, that boy growing his interest to do sadhu sangha. Maybe due to previous sanskar, who can say? Very much interested. Very. So those sadhus going to, my son, you can bring some uh, uh, broken, you know, Wooden piece from forest, we can cook, yes. He's going to collect some wooden piece, he's there collecting some dry leaf. They're doing this kind of seva. In the meantime, mother actually, mother, his, his own mother, one day in the very early in the morning, maybe 4 o'clock, 4.30, maybe there, before sunrise, is going to do some job there in somebody's house. They are paying money, na. So, she is going, but it is darkness. I know myself. I've been there in Bindavan forest. I know how darkness. Darkness, if you calculate, I, then I can show you what kind of darkness you can mean. One day, I was there in Bhatan, one place, Bhatan, one place, where the footprint of Krishna is there, all ele elephant or uh, camel, all the forest is there. Because Krishna, you know, Krishna's footprint all through the forest, and full of snack, and jackal, everything all around. But I, told, I took decision to stay there, night time, and morning time I can move. Because in between there is no place. Because you will, you, you should have calculation. Those who are new men, they cannot calculate. In the middle they can be in. Those who very good idea, they have clear conception where to go, when, how many, how many kilometers I can go, where to take rest. All calculation you should have. Otherwise you are in problem. So I took decision staying there. I can come to this point after. So, there is no temple. There is at all one temple is there. But that, uh, but the owner of that, owner now actually is taking control of the temple. He don't allow anybody to stay in the temple. I don't know why. Very small temple. Uh, then I was bound to stay outside. There was a bamboo structure outside and staying here. And the darkness, even you cannot see your hand, so darkness. You will have to totally depend upon the mercy of Bhagavan. This way. Anyway, so the, the mother of Naraji Maharaj, I mean the small boy, mother, going to some job. 
By chance in the midway, she meet with one snack. She give leg on snack and snack bite. Snack bite is very dangerous, very poisonous. And due to snack bite, mother fall down. And finally in the morning time, village man discover that the lady, I mean the Mataji, died due to snack bite. Now you think, five years boy, no father, no mother, no deposit money, nothing, there no support. Mother gone from this point. Mother used to love his own boy just like an eyeball. Just like an eyeball, you are going to protect your eyeball, na? Now my mother gone. Then five years boy, who can take care? Due to that sadhu sangha, due to that sadhu sangha, it was a great benefit for the small boy. Even that five years small boy was very smart by that time. Because he used to get the association of the sadhu. The sadhu, they used to bless him. He used to hear kirtan and harikatha. Sometime, <coughs> they used to give uchista, you know uchista, prasadam uchista, take this plate. So, that boy taking that uchista of sadhu, this way, by using uchista of sadhu, you can clean, clean your heart very much, very much. Water was, water, water was of a pure sadhu, if you drink dust particle from the lotus feet of pure sadhu or uchista, all very effective. It is written, bhakta pada renu, bhakta pada jal, bhakta bhukta avashas, avashas tin sadhaner ball. In kirtan it is written. In kirtan it is written in Bengali, you should understand, bhakta pada renu. I mean the dust particle from the lotus feet of sadhu, pure sadhu. Bhakta padaja, I mean the water was of a sadhu. And uchista. So it is written in Kirtan. Bhakta pada renu, bhakta pada jal, bhakta bhukta avishesh, thin sadhaner ball to get power of bhajan. There is a exact, exact medicine. To get the power in your bhajan, Unparalleled, unmatched medicine you can get. You cannot even calculate how nice medicine is. You can get what you cannot do, that you cannot do very easily. So, it's a very important thing. And also, Naraji Maharaj also told, and usually we know Dhamma. Dhamma is always full of dust of devotees, because in Dhamma, devotees coming. Who can say, I am not going to get the dust particle from the lotus feet of Nityananda? Who knows? Same though. Maybe by air, dust particle from the Nityananda is going to touch me. There is every possibility. Who can say? When? What can happen? Maybe I am going to get the dust particle from Nityananda. Gauranga Mahapo used to play here. I am running to Godroom. These are running. Who can say one dust particle from? Can come. So in Vrindavanam, full of dust, of Brajagopikas, this, that. That's why Uddhavji also, Uddhavji Maharaj also wanted to get one dust particle from the lotus feet of Brajagopikas. The Dhamma is so important. Prahlad Maharaj also wanted to speak the same thing. Motir na kishne parato shatobha Mito vipadde to giho vratanam Adanta go vir vishatam tamisram Punaha puno chorbito charvanana. This one slok. Another slok is Motirna Krishna Parato Shatuba. Another slok is there that uh, uh, um, I forget, I always speaking. Um, until dust particle coming from the lotus feet of a pure Vaishnava, eh? eh? Naisham Mati Stava. Naisham Mati Stava. Naisham Mati Stava Duru Kramangin. 
Naishangmati Stavaduru Kramanghim Sprishatanarthap Gomo Yadartho Mahiyasam Padarajo Vishekam Niskinchananam Nabrinito Jabad Naishangmati Stavad Uru Kramanghim Sprishati. So long you are not, not going to arrange that particle from the lotus feet of Sadhu, no Naishang. Mati stavad urukramangi. Urukramangi means Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Uru, Uru means big jar power. Urukramangi. You cannot touch. So long as you are not going to get the dust particle from the lotus feet of a sadhu, naishang mati stavad urukramangi is speciality. Your, you know, your mind cannot touch that level. So long as you are not going to get last particle from the lotus feet of yours. Naishang mati stavat urukramang in speciality. Because this dark particle is the only medicine to cut your anartha. Naishang mati stavat urukramang in sprishyatta anartha pagamo yadartho. Sprishya, if you touch, all anartha can go. Sprishyatta anartha pagamo yadartho. Mahi asam padarajyu vishekam. Niskinchan anam na vinito jagat. Niskinchan sadhu. If you are not going to get dust particle from their lotus feet, there is no possibility. So, very important. So, Naraji Maharaj, a small boy, he is not feeling disturbance. Because by that time, by that time he was matured, little bit matured. Because sadhu sangha is the... So, he used to take Uchista from Sadhu. After Chaturmasa, they gone. After Chaturmasa is over, they started running towards. So, Naraji Maharaj now took decision to go anywhere, leaving this village. Because mother was the only relative gone. No, okay, no problem. Mother gone means all my bondage gone. That small boy, five years boy. How intelligent speaking, mother used to love me very much, that was one kind of bondage for me. Mother used to love me so much, that was one kind of tight bondage for me. Now it's okay, I'm free. Mother gone, oh, who is going to check me, so I can go. You see the intelligent. Because Naraji Maharaj, it is written in Bhagavatam, Naraji Maharaj speaking to Vaisadeva, that those sadhu giving me uchista and only first day when I took all my all my dirty conception heart all clean. It is written, Narajima speaking, Shakitma Vinje Tadapasta Kilvishaha. Shakitmani one time. When they give me uchista first time, Shakitma Shakitma Bhunje. Tadapasta kilvishaha. Tadapasta kilvishaha means all dirty things from my heart are clean. When I first took their uchista, then onward. So Naraji Maharaj now started going towards forest. Forest and forest, all. Finally, he was feeling tired. Feeling tired means no prasadam, no water, nothing. One small boy. He discovered one nice, uh, you know, very pond, very lake, very nice. Not lake actually, very nice. So there, he took bath and, you know, wanted to drink water and sit. One tree was there, he is getting support and thinking. He is not thinking because he is very anxious, not that. His thinking was related to Bhagavan Sri Krishna, what he heard from Sadhu Guru. He was thinking, not because I am alone, where to go, where I can sit, not that. He is thinking about what he heard from Guru Vishnu. I mean those sadhus. He is concentrating. He is concentrating on about all Harikatha he heard, Kirtan, and thinking. Try to judge this. In the meantime, he was feeling little bit drowsy. And Bhagavan came 
immediately for fraction of second. Fraction of second, Bhagavan gives darshan and immediately gone. Fraction of second, he saw the beautiful figure of Bhagavan. Immediately he get up, he started crying, Bhagavan, I cannot get you. you. You give me a chance to see you for a fraction of a second, but where are you gone now? I like to get you. This is the target of my life. But he couldn't say anymore. But after heavily crying, he could hear one aerial voice. He could hear only Aryan voice that you are very much interested. That's why to give you inspiration, I was bound to come to give you darshan for fraction of a second. But actually, uh, actually in this condition, nobody can see me. Your all sinful activities, everything is all gone. But still, you have to wait. You have to take Guru Charan. You have to do bhajan, procedure of bhajan, na? Proceed, you are not doing. So, aerial voice is going to give consolation. My, this life, this life, this life, you cannot see me anymore. Because, avipakka kasayanam, avipakka kasayanam, durdarsha aham ku yoginam. Avipakka kasayanam, all your maturity is not perfect. You are getting mature a little bit, but your full maturity is not complete. Abhipakka kasayanam means, if I give example, suppose on those days, previous days, our mother used to cook ri rice. So every time mother coming, every 10 minutes or 5 minutes, going to take some rice and watch it. The rice is already cooked or not. At present, you are putting in a pressure cooker, five minutes gone. But that time, that was not. It's a very plain, a simple procedure. Water can boil, you can give rice, and you have to check up the rice is mature, cooked or not. This example is perfect here. Avipakka kasayanam. Yoga Randhito Kasayam in Gajendra Mukhan, it is written. Your bhajan, due to your bhajan power, when you are getting maturity, that is called your cooked rice. Rice when cooked and soft rice, it's okay. So it can be compared with this. Yoga Randhito Kasayam in Gajendra Mukhan. And here it is written, here it is written, Avipakka Kasayanam. Durdash aham ku yogi nam. Abhipakka kasayanam, those who are not getting maturity still, na? Abhipakka kasayanam, durdash, they cannot see me right now. Durdash aham ku yogi nam. Ku yogi nam many? Those who are doing bhajan fancifully, or ku yogi nam mean also, still today, you are not going to organize you perfectly because you are no guru. Ku yogi mean you are doing something, but ku yogi means it is not perfect. Because guru can guide you. Guru can guide you, na? Under the guidance of guru then you can do bhajan. If still today, maybe you are very good, but still today, if you are not going to accept the lotus feet of guru then, I mean Sadguru, till then your bhajan cannot start. That's why it is your bhajan cannot start. Only after taking shelter on the lotus feet of Sadhguru, your bhajan can initiate, start. That's why the aerial boy is speaking, Abhipakka kashayanam durdashu aham ku yoginam. Abhipakka, those who are not matured, kashayanam, they have some, okay, there is no matter. Maybe Naraji is very, this boy is very good, or almost all matter gone from. But still there is some marking, you know, marking, you don't know. Suppose you are making tea in a pot for the past five years. Suppose you are making tea, you are preparing tea, 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 you know, for the past five years in one pot. If you clean the pot very much, still there is one marking, red marking. 
that you see that red marking is also not allowed so how much perfection we will have to attain now you can understand what kind of perfection will have to attain even the marking is not allowed even the smell of matter not allowed even the smell of matter suppose you are going to put some camphor camphor in a pot camphor you know camphor you know camphor you know pot after 2 years if you open the camphor that pot you can find a little bit smell you cannot avoid it's a must So this way, the aerial boy speaking, abhipakka kasayanam durdasho aham kujoginam, and it is written Narajji speaking, in course of time, somehow, I leave my body, and after that, there is so much incident I don't like to speak. Then Bhagwan, out of his merciful attitude, going to give me some body, eternal body. Is Sadhan Siddha. Naraj speaking. So, for the small boy, five years boy, there is no protection. Dhruva Maharaj was five years boy, no protection there. Who was the protection? In the forest, he is doing bhajan. There is no. Prahlad Maharaj was five years boy. There is no protection. So, protection of all, protection of everybody is Bhagavan. It is the final conclusion. I know one case, you know. One small boy, I also used to do, but this is not my case. I used to do some nice, nice fish. Very, I'm giving food to their country. So one mother, she is just one mother. She is just fed up with the boy. He is. The small boy is always busy with fish. I mean, taking care red, blue, different black fish. So all the time, boy. So mother was one day she was very angry. There's a bottle of fish, bottle water inside there. Mother wanted to take the bottle and throw in a bush. When the boy came to discover that my my mother throw. He started crying, but wonder. Next morning time, he discover that the pot is there in the in the booth. Uh, you know, face is upward, uh, intact. No water gone out. Nothing happened. Just mother throw as if somebody going to catch and put in his lap. So many incident. One disciple of Sila. Bhakti de to Madhav Goswami Maharaj. I mean Jalandhar. He also used to meet me when I used to go to Jalandhar. He is speaking his own history. And I went to Maharaj Kedarnath, Badinath, you know, Kedarnath, Badinath, Himalayan hill. Himalayan hill, Kedarnath, Badinath. He went there with one small baby. I mean, maybe four years, three years, baby, small baby. All he went there to take darshan. After that, he took one bus. There are so many bus, and all bus coming this way because hilly place, na? There is jig jag way. But some, but by chance the 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 bus, I mean the brake fell, and the bus rolled down, down, down is going to fall down. I remember my guru dev. Bhakti Vidya Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Miracle, whole bus rolled down and down, down, and everybody going, everybody. Not even, not even driver or you know, contractor, nobody. But miracle. But suddenly I discover myself in a bus, because there is so many trees in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a hilly place, hilly, hilly. One bus, one portion of the bus, one portion of the bus open and with a chair, with a chair, one portion of the bus strip, strip open and with chair, I discover myself with the baby in my lap in a bus. But there is deep. 
I am not going to die. Everybody die. But I discover myself after some time that I am intact, no problem, not even nothing. I discover myself in a bush. Somehow he was delivered by those you know, people with the baby also. So how miracle the bus you know, going to fall down, but one portion of the bus open with the chair itself, with the chair, as it is, he was sitting there in the bus and he's sitting in the bush. So who can protect whom? That is the main question. There is a no protector. No, no, who can protect whom? So in the in the seventh canto, it is written this kind of sloka. So while we are doing our Vrindavan Parikram, while we are doing our Vrindavan Parikram, we should be totally surrendered unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. I mean Balura, Dham Tattva. If we are going to play our head about your advantage, disadvantage, good or bad, hot or cold, this is not actually Parikram. So this way we will have to do Parikram. Now I can try to, uh, try to explain how all those important deities like Radha Govindo, Radha Gopinath, Radha Madan Mohan, how they were discovered. Radha Madan Radha Ramanlal, Radha Gokulananda Ji, how? Radha Ballav, how? We know that by the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it was the instruction. It was actually it was the instruction of Sivan Mahaprabhu to Rup Sanatan to go to Vrindavan Dham to compile different kind of books and literature, everything. At the same time, it was the standing order of Mahaprabhu that you can go to forests, different places, according to scriptural evidence, you will to travel and discover all Leela places. All different Leela places because, Baj Baj well, Bhajana was done, but it was 5,000 years back. 5,000 years, there is long gapping of time, so all natural calamity, natural, so many changes are always happening. So, this way, by the instruction of, by the instruction of Siman Mahaprabhu, by the instruction of Siman Mahaprabhu, by the instruction of Siman Mahaprabhu, they, I mean, Sanatan, Rup, Goswami, they all tried to discover different. And it was miracle that by the blessing of Bhagavan it was possible. Without blessing, not possible. So I like to speak something. Sanatan Gosai and Rup Gosai, you know very well. When Sanatan Gosai was inside jail, you know the reason. Because the king speaking, you are, you are my prime minister. You are not coming to help me there. But Sanatana Gosai said, well, I have done for a long time. Now I have no time to do it. Why? I cannot do service. Huh? You cannot do service? Why? How I can manage? You are prime minister. Sanatana Gosai, you can do it by you appoint somebody else. Then the king wanted to arrest him and put him to jail. So Sanatana Gosai was inside jail, cannot come out, and Rupa Goswami already, already gone away with Anupam, the younger brother, I mean the father of Jiva Goswami, already gone. A king couldn't catch, gone. But before going, Rupa Goswami wanted to keep a huge 10,000 golden coin, 10,000 golden coin wanted to keep, so that Sanatana Gosai can somehow get free, somehow. So Rup and, uh, you know, Rup Gosai Pad and uh, Anupam, all gone. This way they gone up to Vrindavan and from there they took decision to, to find some final solution of the monetary matters. Because anyway, Sanatana Gosai ran from the house. 
he couldn't solve because so many property. So he took decision to give half of the amount to Brahman Vaishnava and another half you want to make share, half for family, and another for somebody. Say. This way, this way actually, so this way actually, finally he was, uh, he wanted to keep uh, 10,000 golden, golden you know, coin. So that uh, in near future, somehow, Sanatana can make himself free by bribe. That was successful. So anyway, Sanatana Goswami gone. And Vrindavan, from there, again coming back to solve the monetary problem. In the meantime, Sanatana get free and going to Varanasi, already told you. In Varanasi, there Mahaprabhu wanted to give him uh, teachings about Sanatana Sikha. From there, Sanatana Goswami gone to Vrindavan and Rupa Goswami by that time went there. So, Kato could not, they could not meet, they could not meet each, each other. Because they are going this way, main, main road and Sanatana Goswami road, uh, not main road. I mean very soft road. So, that's why they couldn't meet with each other. So, Sanatana Goswami was the first among all of them to reach Vrindavan Dham. There Sanatana Goswami wanted to do bhajan, doing bhajan in a bhajan kutir, in a bhajan kutir. But daily, daily Sanatana Goswami path used to go to, daily not daily, sometime, you know, because daily no time, he used to go to Mathura, because Vrindavan was almost forest. Who can stay there? So he used to go to Mathura for begging, for Madhukuri, you know Madhukuri? From each house, I used to do, from each house some, uh, you know, wheat, wheat powder, here, there, different house, somebody giving milk, then come back, come and make chapati, offer to Bhagavan, take, this was the system. Each morning time and evening time. Rest of the sign, rest of the time I used to recite, and some other seva used to do. <coughs> so Sanatana Gosai used to go to Mathura to collect, you know, some wheat, everything to... But when Sanatana Goswami used to go to one special house, it's called Chobe. It's called Chobe. Chobe, you know, Chobe is the title of one Brajavasi. He used to go to their house to bake for Something, something. But when Sanatana Goswami used to go there, Sanatana Goswami could discover that the son of Chaube, there's a son of Chaube always playing with Madan Mohan. Madan Mohan is deity. Madan Mohan is deity. But deity coming in the form of a small boy and always playing with the Sanatana Goswami watching daily. Sanatana Goswami daily going as he is. Madhan Gopal, small boy, playing with this. So one day, Sanatana Gosai wanted to give some advice to the wife of Chokwe. You are serving Madan Mohan this way, but you should maintain some purity, na? Eh? No purity, actually, you are giving this way. Sanatana Gosai suggesting. But Madan Mohan want to get Chapati this way. He don't like somebody maintain purity. Whereas for you and me, we'll have to maintain purity. Follow. Sanatana so Goswami morning, I mean the wife of Chobe making something without taking bath. Because, because Gopal is very hungry. In morning time, give me something, give me, I'm hungry. So what to do? Without taking bath, without brushing, he used to cook. But Gopal like it very much. So one day, that Madan Mohan came in dream, I know, uh, of this you know, Chobe and Chobe's wife, that for a long time I am taking seva from you. For a long time I am taking seva from you. Now actually I like to go to that sadhu 
Sometime coming to you, no, Sanatan Sadhu. I like to go. Then finally what happened? He liked to go. Madan Mohan liked to go. So the wife of Chaube and uh, uh, Chaube, they both of them take, because it's the order of Madan Mohan. So they took decision to hand over Madan Mohan to Sanatan Gosai. They say, Ki Bhagavan, he, he likes to stay with you. I don't know why. Uh, like to stay with you. Then Sanatan Gosai is going to take that deity and coming to Bhajan Kutir. This is a very small, but a broken place, no place, nothing. Keeping there, giving water and tulsi, and whatever he is going to make, no sabji, nothing. Only some atta, atta, you know, wheat. Mixing with water, this, 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 giving, giving to fire, a roast atta, roast, not even chapati. Who can do chapati? Chapati will have to make some, you know, arrangement should be there so that chapati can be made. No, so you have to take some uh, wheat and mix with water and making this, giving the water into fire. And when it is, it is like a... Baking factory, you know, baking factory, you know, they are making loof, loof, you know, <laughs> loof, you know, bread, special pie, they are making, you know. So all around fire and automatically fire coming and the, you know, loof, you know, this way they are making. So, Madan Mohan taking this kind of seva, what to do? There is no temple, nothing, broken all around, Jomuna, very nice, beautiful place. Nowhere to stay. It is forest. Nowhere to stay. Sanatana Gosai used to stay in a very broken bhajan kutir there. Dadas Aditya Tila. Dadas Aditya Tila means you can find near at present the Madan Mohan Mandir. I don't know you went there or you've been there or not. There is Madan Mohan. At present, what is Madan Mohan Mandir, which was made by Nanda, some Nanda was very important Pirish man. So this way, actually, it is a hilly place, very high. Hilly place, there, high place. And there, that is a special place. Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to give punishment to Kaliyana. You know, na? Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to give punishment to Kaliyana. Wanted to give punishment to Kaliyana. And for a long time, Gopal, I mean Krishna, wanted to fight with Kalyana in the water, cold water. That is a cold time, cold season. After giving punishment to Kalyana and blessing, then Krishna, I mean Gopal, I mean, come out of the water. And just like small human boy, he was feeling cold. Because of the cold water, Jamuna. Then Krishna went top in the hill where at present Sanatana Gusai Bhajan Kuti. There Krishna climbed and sitting in a rock, you know, there is one small, small rock. There Krishna sitting and Sun God thought, Sun God took decision to serve Krishna. This is the appropriate moment. Because this is, a, this is an appropriate moment, Krishna feeling cold, so Sun God took the form of twelve Dados Aditya. You don't know. Every month there is some change of you know feature of Sun God. There's so many, it is they are written. So all at a time, twelve sun going to manifest their ma manifest their figure. I'm going to give uh, sunlight to Krishna so that Krishna can feel comfortable. That is the place is called Dadas Aditya Tila. 
That is actually called Dadas Aditya Thila. Very big. Dadas Aditya Thila. They are actually, this is Leela of Krishna after giving punishment to Kaliya, went there. This is the Arim. So Sanatan Goswami, Sanatan Gosai took decision to bhajan, to do bhajan there. For him it was very good. Who can climb that way to disturb me? So it's very good. Whole day I can do bhajan. Writing this there. So he took decision to do bhajan there. No temple, no chapati, nothing. One day Madan Mohan, Madan, Gop Madan Gopal, Madan Mohan, not Madan Gopal. Madan Gopal is same, Madan Gopal, but still, Madan Gopal was, was discovered by Advaita Gosai. I can come to the point after. At a time, not possible, so long thing. So, one day Madan Mohan speaking, how to, no sabji, no, at least you can give some salt. How I can take? Sonatan speaking, how I can arrange salt? I am staying in forest. Today you are going to ask for salt, tomorrow you can say, I need sugar, where I can go? I cannot arrange. If you like to take, you take. Then Madan was speaking, well, if I, if I can arrange, a, a, any objection you have? If I arrange, no objection you can arrange, I can give to you. <laughs> if you arrange, I can give to you, no problem. So, now Madan Mohan is very clever, going to plan. One big businessman, one big businessman with a big, you know, boat, big boat, full of luggage, different, full of different items. He's going to sell to some other country. He's going to sell to some other country. So many. But in the meantime, the man was in trouble because in Jamuna, how and why that the boat was stuck up, boat not moving. Any amount of force apply, these are. And that time Jamuna was big Jamuna. That time Jamuna was not like this. Jamuna was very wide, very, very wide, all web. Jamuna, but now at present all going to go. Within the 5,000 years from, I heard, it is written, that Jamuna, everything, they like to go away. It is written in Sastra. Anyway, by the mercy of Bhagavan, they can stay or cannot stay there up to them. So the businessman was very a big danger. He cannot go. Then somehow somebody told there is one very, very, very elevated sadhu, Sanatan Gusai. If you go to him, he makes some magic spell. He can make your boat free. He can make your boat free. Come on. Then the man coming and requesting to Sanatan Gosai that you make my boat free, I am in trap. I promise you, I am going for business, doing some business. Any amount of money I am going to collect from this business, I can pay to you. I can make temple, this that I can do. That man promised in front of Sanatan Gosai. If you can make my boat free, I can go and make business and whatever amount I collect, I can give for Bhagavad Seva. By the desire of Bhagavan, he is speaking, otherwise why he can? Then that money, by that money, by that money actually, that Madan Man Mandi Dados Aditya Chila, red stone, big temple. Madan Mohan Manti was met. And there was staircase, staircase, you know. So that Sanatan Gosai can go down, take water from Jamuna and this way was done. This way Madan Mohan wanted to arrange his own temple and you know everything. Sold everything, Madan Mohan. So this is at, at this was the original temple. After that due to Muslim attack. This temple was made long ago, five, and in, at the time of Mahaprabhu, 500 years back, more than that. 
Then there was big problem with the Muslim ruler. He wanted to break our temple. They wanted to break. So they are coming with so much instrument to break temple. This and so Madan Mohan anyway, what to go? Madan Mohan was transferred. Madan Mohan was transferred. But after after Sanatan actually. So after that somebody Nando uh, Nando Ghosh now I forget the name. <laughs> He made the present temple of Madan Mohan. There actually Madan Mohan actually already gone to gone to Jaipur. Jaipur means Karoli, near Jaipur. He gone there. Madan Mohan gone there and still today, still today that Madan Mohan, still today's that Madan Mohan is there. You can go to Karoli, you can find Madan Mohan there. This way, Madan Mohan gone there, but when Sonatan Gosai was there, it was Madan Mohan was there. After that, it happened so. And Mahaprabhu, when went when went to Vrindavan, when Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan, I already told. That time, those Goswamis say. That time they were not there. After that, they went. After that, they went and make all arrangement. This way, Madan Mohan actually, actually I heard it is written in Sastra, Madan Mohan is a deity, uh, you know, from uh, Daparju. From Daparju, Madan Mohan is there. That Madan Mohan. From Daparju, Madan Mohan is there. Not that is were made by somebody. This way, Madan Mohan <coughs> manifests and about Madan Gupa, there is one very nice. Madan Gupal means actually it was Madan, Madan Gupal was discovered by Advaita Gosai. Advaita Gosai went to Vrindavan to take darshan different places. Advaita Gosai went to different places. And one day Advaita Gosai is sleeping under a banyan tree. Night time, Advaita Gosai in dream watching. I mean, in dream watching, Madan Gopal speaking, I am here, you please discover me and establish my seva. Advaita Gosai get up. Advaita Gosai going to you know, invite all Bhujavasis. They say, Bhagavan came in a dream, he is speaking, he is right this place. Under mud, there is Madan Gopal. Bhujavasi is going to help them. Bhajavasi is going to help Advaita Gosai. So really so, after digging mud, the very beautiful deity Madan Gopal coming out. So Advaita Gosai was full of prema, started crying, he doing Abhishek, everything, established seva, engage some Brahman to do seva there, because there is no time here to go here and there. No? So Madan Gopal appeared and this way, this way, Madan Gopal Seva was going, was going on. And Advaita Gosai took decision to go to 12 different forests. Advaita Gosai took decision to go to 12 different forests. So he engaged one Brahman, you do Seva. So I am going to 12 different forests. I can come back shortly. Okay. And the Brahman doing Seva. Brahman doing Seva. Advaita Gosai traveling. Twelve different forests of Vrindavan. Twelve different. In the meantime, what happens? Due to Muslim attack, Madan, Madan Gopal vanished. Madan Gopal not there. So Pujari started crying. Where is the deity? Who took? Nobody took here. Nobody came here. Then the Pujari sent the message, this kind of message to Advaita Gosai because any forest one one man going to follow in forest somewhere can catch. Some Brajavas is going to give in form that your Madan Gopal vanish. Vanish? Immediately Advaita Gosai come back from Vrindavan Parikram and started fasting and not taking water. 
Finally, Bhagavan came in dream and speaking, I am not banished. Due to Muslim attack, I, I was bound to hide myself because they can touch me. So, you can, find, you can come here, you can find me inside flower. Because Pujari doing puja and throw flower in some place, there I am in small form. The deity was big. Original deity was very big. But now, Bhagavan speaking, I took the form of small Gopal. Very modern Gopal. You cannot find me in that form, but how I appeared before. So, Advaita Gosa searching the flower, I mean thrown flower. After puja, somebody going to throw flower in Murubla. They have to search, to find one modern Gopal. I already seen that Gopal. Because that, uh, you know, that Panda, Panda. Panda, Madan Mohan Panda, someday they saw me, maybe 30 years back. They saw one Madan Gopal coming, very small. This is Madan Gopal. This way, Advaita Gosai was upset and finally discovered is there. Also, when Advaita Gosai took decision to come back to Shantipur, then one picture, one picture, portrait picture by Lalita Sakhi. In Dapar Yuga, in Dapar Yuga, Lalita Sakhi wanted to make one art to show to Radharani how Krishna looks like. First. So that portrait was there in, in hidden, hidden form, inside Niduban. Inside Niduban. And that portrait came in the light of Advaita Gosai. Finally, he took that portrait, follow, and that portrait at present, where I don't know, but it is written there, very nice. So, Madan Gopal, this way Madan Gopal manifested, Madan Gopal came out, and after that, Sanatana Gosai, after solving all problems in the meantime, already gone. Because Rupa and Sanatana almost same time. When Sanatana Goswami uh, gone to Vrindavan, after some time because Sanat Rupa Goswami had gone to solve some monetary problem. So I come back. So both of them used to stay, but not in one place. Sanatana Goswami around the clock, moving here and there. Sometime coming, sometime going. Okay. Rupa Goswami also, sometime doing bhajan, in the place you see, Radha Damodar place, Radha Damodar, you go on Bindam. Sometime going there in, you know, Terkadam, Nandogam. According to the inspiration of Bhagavan, they are running. They are not chanchal. You cannot say they are too much chanchal, they are running, not that. They are not actually chanchal. They are traveling is according to the, according to the desire of Bhagavan. They are travelling is according to the desire of Bhagavan. They are not chanchal. So according to the desire of Bhagavan, they are running there, here and there. Almost whole year, they are travelling here and there in the forest, uh, writing books, compiling, arranging so many things, going to discover new, new places of Leela, of Bhagavan they are doing. It is their seva. So, Svanathana Gusai sometimes used to stay near Pavan Saravar. I also used to stay there in Pavan Saravar also, at the bank of Pavan Saravar, there. Svanathana Guse Bhajan Kutir. So in Nandogram, in Nandogram, Svanathana Gusai used to stay there in Bhajan Kutir at the bank of Pavan Saravar. Rupa Guse Path in Nandogram used to stay in Terkadam, Terkadam, near Asheshwar Mahadev. I can come one by one. So they are not staying in one place. Finally, Jib Goswami Pad also, you know, but Jib Goswami Pad deity actually, uh, Rupa Goswami Pad, by the blessing of Rupa Goswami Pad, he wanted to establish Radha Damodar. So, Rupa Goswami Pad also, someday I can uh, discuss this point tomorrow. Rupa Goswami Pad, how he was successful to discover Radha Gavindaji. How Rupa Goswami Pad was successful to discover Govindaju? 
which is there in Jaipur, you know, Radha Gavindaji. Actually, originally Radha Rani was not there. After that, Radha Rani came. There is a long history I can speak about you. But today, you should remember how Madan Mohan appeared, how Madan Mohan temple was, uh, you know, was, you know, <coughs> constructed, I mean, and how Madan Gopal, Adhyayadu Gosai discovered. Actually, Madan Gopal, you can know that place very easily. Because near Dada's Aditya Tila, near Dada's Aditya Tila, I mean near Madan Mohan Mandir, if you ask to anybody, I like to go to Adhyayadu Bhat. The name of the place is Adhyayadu Bhat. The name of the place itself Adhyayadu Bhat. Because Adhyayadu Gosai discovered Madan Mohan, he was sleeping night time. So the name of the place is Adhyayadu Bhat. So there is no confusion. Adhyayadu Bhat is just, uh, you know, hundred, uh, hundred, uh, uh, in only twenty or fifty you know, meters away. Here is, here is Dadasadi Tattila and just there is, just there you can find Adhyayadu Bhat. Very, very interesting place. Every time I go and do parikrama, because Adhita, Adhita Bhatt, Petanda Bhatt, and uh, very nice place, very nice place. And if you go to go up there, in, uh, you've been there, Dadasadi Tatila, you can watch whole Vindavan. From Dadasadi Tatila, so high, from there you can see all Jamuna this way, there's Nidubon, all you can see, very nice, from there. And also you can see the staircase. I mean, Sonatam Gose used to come down and down to take water from Jamuna, Goa. And I was, I wanted to speak the same case. When Akbar Basa told, now nah, I like to do some seva. So Sonatam Gose said, my staircase is broken, if you can repair. That is that staircase. By the mercy of Sonatam Gosai, Akbar, 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 King Akbar, Bhatsa could discover Vrindavan. By materialized is staying, uh, there is a broken stair, what I can do? Uh, finally, when Sonatan, by the mercy of Sonatan, he could, he could see this is Vrindavan, Aprakita Vrindavan, then he was very shocked. He was very sorry. Excuse me. It is not possible for me to repair the staircase. This is called Vrindavan. With materialized, if you go, you can find the stool and urine, there is a water system very bad, Jomuna is dry, everybody passing stool and you... So material eyes with material eyes, it is not good for bonded soul to go there in Vrindavan. Anyway, I can discuss tomorrow all about uh, this Parikram. We can, first of all, I can discover all the details, then we can travel anyway. So you see, Kalo karma gunadhino deho ayam pancha bhautika katham anyangsu gopayet katham anyangsu gopayet sarpa grusta jaya aparaha. Bancha kalpatrosi ke pasindu bhavich patitanang pavane bhavishna bhyoru.